Hello Donna, this is Dave from ChiefTutor.com. I got your email <clears throat> and I was looking at your photo and uh, it looks like you're trying to accomplish this, uh, stepping up into this, let's call it a foyer, <laughs> and then maybe another step up into the house. Is that what's going on? So I've got your model here. <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a cross-section elevation and I'm going to start at the door. Oh no, that's the wrong door to start on. Let's start on this door. This is what you're struggling with, I think. <clears throat> so I'm going to click here and I'm going to drag this way so we can kind of evaluate your house from the cross-section view. <clears throat> so I'm assuming that this is the first floor. Um, it doesn't look like you've generated a second floor. These are just attic, yeah, okay, so these are just attic walls. <clears throat> Here's your first floor at 99 and an eighth, okay. So I don't know if these are correct. I'm just going to assume they are. Um, <clears throat> I wouldn't have built it this way per se, but uh, I don't want to really get into that. That's not a big deal. The way it is now, it is. Uh, looks like the door jam is going through the foundation, so we don't have that right. And and wherever this ends up, I click into this room. <coughs> not sure what's going on there as well. So let's go now to a 3D view. Now in my 3D view. If I were to look here, I can see um, my door is, yeah, cutting through the floor there. And my door here is maybe where it should be. Let's go inside and let's correct just a few things. Assuming this is what you want in your height of your first floor, I'm going to select this door and I'm going to come in here and say floor to bottom should just be zero. That way it'll push the door where it's supposed to be. Then when it comes into this room, looks like it steps down. We don't know how much. Uh, again, I'm just going to assume that this is the height of where you want it. Um, and then we can step up from there. <clears throat> Go into this room and the structure. And um, I'm going to remove this one. And it'll put the floor under this room and still keep your H, which is pretty high. <clears throat> Just kind of line things up like that. I don't want to mess with it too much, but basically you're going to step into that, or which steps into the house. Okay. And then all we need to do again is just lower these guys. So I'm going to double click this door, push that back to zero. <clears throat> and in this case, I think all these windows should be at 80. So I'm going to shift select those three windows, open them up, and punch them floor to top, 80 just standard height for windows and doors to line up and maybe this one as well that should be 80 right okay now <clears throat> chief has these quick and easy steps uh, that we can use if we do the drop down we'll notice all these different uh, steps that they have one of them is called draw stairs and the other one's straight stairs straight stairs is kind of neat because it, it estimates where you want to go from one place to another um, now, I see the terrain here and the door here, and I don't know how high it's supposed to be. But if I were to pick the straight stairs and line them up, you know, underneath the door, somewhere close to the door, <clears throat> and click, let's see if I can get it going the right direction in the 3D. You know, it's always best to do this in the 2. I was hoping I could get it rid of it in the 3. No, nope, it's going to work better in the 2. So I'm going to go back to the 2D, come over here, and I'm still in the click mode, right? I'm just going to land a set of stairs there and put one maybe going up there. So now we can take a cross-section elevation view again that we had, and we can see that there's your terrain, there's the steps going up, and there's that other step going up to that door. Let's go back to the 3D, and it looks like I might have it grabbed one of the steps on the first run, so I'm just going to get rid of that. Uh, the other one should be in here. Yep, there it is. <clears throat> and then we can modify them quickly, like if I were to double-click them, and say in the style, you know, I don't want it open underneath or open risers, and I don't want the tread to overhang, so I'm going to zero that out, and I just want it to be concrete. Oh, and one more thing, I can uh, open it up and say, um, why don't we say, I'll go like six feet wide, something a little bit more realistic. Of course, you did have that picture. I guess I should just look at the picture. I'm going to color it concrete. Uh, let's go back to your picture real quick. And we can see that now the train is much lower. It creates four steps up, and we only have two. So we can modify that easily by just double-clicking the terrain. Notice how the building pad is set automatically. 
I can uncheck it and change it. Now the higher this number, the lower the terrain will go. So let's say we went to 60 and it can go down quite a bit further. And then we just need to adjust the stairs out a little bit and they will recalculate until it hits the ground. It looks like 60 was going to be way too much. So now I'm going to change it to 40. And now it looks like it's connecting correctly and it's looking a little bit more like your model. <clears throat> so I will send this back to you because I'm not sure again what you were trying to do with the foundation there and there. But if this is the only part you're designing the house and you just had to throw this on, uh, maybe it just, all that crap's irrelevant and it doesn't mean a thing. So you're just trying to make it look right. Um, then I would regenerate your foundation walls so make them look a little bit more accurate. But um, there's your design. Hopefully that helped you. Um, I'll send you the plan file back and, and hopefully that'll sort it out. Okay, talk to you later.